Welcome to Pet Break Happy Hour. In this episode, we're going to open up a couple of baseball prospects or rookie packages that I managed to snag on the shelves, Panini products. Um, the first one is Panini Prism Draft Picks, and the second is Panini Elite Extra Edition. The Panini Prism is going to feature a silver prism, two retail exclusives, green pulsar parallels, and the Elite Extra Edition has only uh, five cards per box, but two autographs or memorabilia cards. I haven't done a baseball video for a while, not just because the season was over, but um, partly because I've been trying to come to terms with giving away the best player in possibly major leagues, but certainly in um, Rocky's recent history to the St. Louis Cardinals, of course, Nolan Arenado. But hopefully we'll be able to score some of the Rockies prospects and draft prospects for 2020, including Zach Veen and some pitchers that we'll talk about in just a bit. So we'll just open this sucker up, see what we get. Starting with, of course, the Panini Prism draft picks. There's five cards per pack, six packs per box. These are college prospects. We don't know whether any of them will ever actually play. And uh, so let's just open it up and see what we get in the Panini Prism draft picks. See what's coming for 2020 and the near future. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Kind of bent because they're so chromey. That's okay. All right, Ian Seymour, Virginia Tech Hokies. Uh, it doesn't say who they went with, so I'll just research it, put it up on the video. Mick Abel. Nice. Abel's trophy shelf was already pretty stacked by the time Philadelphia tabbed him the opening round of the 2020 draft. Obviously, he's a pitcher. Check it out. Fireworks, Petey Halpin. Among the gleamy pellets of praise heaped upon Halpin by Scott Barnsby, Cleveland's director of amateur scouting, were these. He's an extreme competitor, plays with energy. He's really just fearless on the field. Then the grand finale, just an outstanding internal clock. Tick, tick, a lot of fun to watch. It's countdown to the bigs has begun. That's pretty funny. All right, Beck. Way. Ah, that is so sharp. And another fireworks, Heston Kierstad, Razorbacks, Arkansas Razorbacks. Okay, nice. We'll just put them right there. Keep them right there. All right, Owen Cassie or Casey. Uh, San Diego. Bailey Horn. Okay. He uh, teams that messed with the Tigers in 2020 got the Horn. Left-handed pitcher. Christian Roa, Texas A&M. That's a, a, that's a green, two green parallels. Okay, so I guess we'll put them over there. We'll put the parallels over here. I assume they're green parallels. Zach Britton for Louisville. And Alika Williams. Arizona State. Thunderstruck. Those are really, really sharp cards. You have some pretty good designers on their staff. So far, obviously, don't know much about them because they're not only rookies, but they're college players, even high school players. Oh, this one has a uh, relic card or an autograph card, so we'll just hide that near the bottom. Okay, 
Thunderstruck, Milan Tolentino. Here's a place where the autograph would go. It's kind of like white, dead white space. Santa Margarita Catholic High School, California. Does not say who got him. Brandon Fod. I see why I'm struggling with that name. Fireworks, Austin Martin from the Vanderbilt Commodores. It looks like he's stomping out some bugs. Max Meyer, Minnesota. All right, a numbered card, nine out of 50 from the rate, a nine out of 50 numbered and autographed card. Hayden Cantrell from the Ragin' Cajuns of University of Louisiana. That is a really nice card. Let's look a little bit more about Hayden. Ask any coach of the University of Louisiana to give you a list of pros from Cantrell's game and you better pull up a chair. He's no elite runner, said he said, sorry, he's an elite runner, said Cajun's assistant coach, Max, Max Deggs. He's a high level defender at a premium position. He's a switch hitter. The bat is there and he's just going to get better with time. So that's the book on Hayden Cantrell. And on the video, we'll show where he was drafted, where he's going to go. But meanwhile, we're going to put this in a nice sleeve, get it all nice and protected. All right, let's open up the next one. That was nice. All right. Kyle Nicholas. Kyle Nicholas. Ball State. Um, let's see, Nicholas allowed, that's in Indiana, in case anybody's wondering. Nicholas allowed one hit over five innings, struck out nine versus UMass Lowell on February 17, 2018. So Ball State is the home of David Letterman. That's where he went to college. All right, another green parallel. Larrick Sulari from the Tennessee Volunteers. That is just an amazingly beautiful card. I'm sharp. Another green parallel. Emerson Hancock from George Bulldogs. Does not say where he went. We'll figure it out. That goes in the really sharp looking green parallels. Wander Franco. Oh, for crying out loud, that's the one with a little bit of a smear, but it looks like it's just coming out pretty easily. But I say Wander Franco has been drafted. And um, so we'll see what to do with that. But I'm going to put that in a sleeve. Protect it, just like that autograph of Hayden Cantrell. Gavin Stone. Nice picture. It's just sharp and bossy. Gavin Stone from the UCA Bears. Nice. Now, this is one of those really sharp packs that you don't even want to be over. Pete Crow Armstrong. Pete Crow Armstrong. Don't be surprised if Pete Crow Armstrong has a couple of Rawlings gold gloves. CJ Van Eyck. Jake Eater from Vanderbilt. Another green parallel. This is a power surge. So Austin Wells is obviously a hitter. Soon, New York fans will be witnessing the same sizzling performance that Wells ignited across two seasons at Arizona University. He tends to strike quickly. Matt Scheffler, catcher.
Nice. Love these rookie cards. Got to go back to them in about five years and see where they ended up. All right, final pack. Trevor Hover. Trevor Hover. Pitchers tended to avoid pitching to 2020 number one overall pick. Spencer Torkelson, when they gave him a free pass to first base. However, all often made them pay. All right. Ooh, look at this. Addison Coffee. This is an orange parallel. 59 out of 99. So there's our second numbered card. And it's an orange parallel. So Addison Coffee. Uh, after tabbing Elite Arms, Garrett Crochet, and Jared Kelly with each of its first two picks, Chicago turned to Coffee. In round three, listed as a right-handed pitcher. So, good card. All right, another green parallel. Connor Phillips, LSU. LJ Jones the fourth. And finally, Thunderstruck, Nick Lofton from Baylor. Baylor Bears. It's nice little divots in there. Nick Lofton. All right. Those are sharp. So as far as I can tell, did not get any of the Rockies signings, especially Zach Veen or Drew Romo or Chris McMahon but did get a bunch of sharp cards, including this Wander Franco and an autographed Hayden Cantrell from the Raging Cajuns. Nice. And then also, as far as our short prints or parallels, Addison Coffey, a red parallel, orange parallel, Jake Eater, green, Emerson Hancock. Nice. Alaric Slayer. Look at that background. And then look at this background. Fireworks. Petey Halpin. Christian Roa. And Bailey Horn. Terrific pack. It's one I, I wouldn't mind just opening up more and more and more of these. But we'll see if any of these turn out to be hits or misses in the future. All right, now we're going to open up this pack. The Elite Extra Edition Baseball Trading Cards. So this is Panini product, five cards per box. It is a retail pack, so it's not going to be too exciting. It was uh, 1995, I believe. And um, so we're betting on the two autographs or memorabilia cards. There's only five cards in the box. So two of them are going to be something special. Hopefully you get an autograph and hopefully for my sake, we'll just get a uh, Colorado Rockies draft pick. Um, usually it's from the 2020 draft, but uh, we'll see if they have some kind of holdovers from earlier drafts because the 2020 season was so wild. All right. So all that room. One little pack of cards. So be very gentle with it because it could have the next Mike Trout rookie card in it. All right, here we go. God, what a sharp card. It's kind of a pink parallel. Rainier Vargas, Dominican Prospect League. That was the other thing that they did mention on the box. Dominican Prospect League is the special thing about this uh, particular product. Burl Caraway, Chicago. From Dallas Baptist. So he's a high school player. All right, here is our hit. Whew. 
Julio Rodriguez from Seattle. Prospect materials and see what this is. The enclosed player worn used material is guaranteed by Panini America Inc. Okay. And here is our autograph Elite Extra Edition Colton Keith, drafted by Detroit. So Colton, a lefty swatter who plays premier defensive position, signed Detroit up. The Motor City Club jumped at the chance to draft Keith out of Biloxi High School in Mississippi in 2020, and the third baseman couldn't have been more thrilled. It's nice to know someone wants me in their organization that bad, and I am ready to play, he said. All right, so hopefully we will see Prospect Colton Keith playing for the Detroit Tigers this year, but that is a cool autograph card. We're going to sleeve it up. These are sharp products. I wish we had 20 packs, but that would cost another few hundred dollars. And that's not in my budget. All right. Colton Keith autograph. Julio Rodriguez, we'll put that in a bigger sleeve for Seattle. And then the other cards, Alex Santos, Houston, Burl Caraway for Chicago, the Dominican Republic prospect. And it does not say whether he was drafted yet. Uh, where he is, but I'll look it up. And if he is somewhere in the uh, baseball, professional baseball, I will let you know. Interesting little imperfection there. That cool pink card there. All right. That was fun. Wish I had more packs of that to open up. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe like and comment as much as you can stand. Thanks.